Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake forecast video for the month of December, covering in New Zealand and also the Australian region. This video is exclusive content for subscribers of the SolarWatcher.net website, made public to showcase the content available for subscribers. We're now looking at the important astronomical events for the month of December, and we have the important Moon-Jupiter conjunction taking place two times this month, on the 4th and 31st of the month. These are important dates, as the Moon-Jupiter conjunction does affect the sea levels of the South Pacific Ocean. We have the Moon at Apogee on December 5, and we have an important time frame between December 6 and 7, where Mars and Venus will occult the Moon, and this should see an increase in seismicity across the globe. We move forward to the 21st of December, we see that the Moon will be at perigee. We move forward to the 29th of December, Mercury will reach its greatest elongation, 19.7 degrees east. And as mentioned, the Moon-Jupiter conjunction will take place on December 31st. Now looking at the important planetary alignments that are taking place for the month of December. We have three important heliocentric alignments that are taking place on the 1st, 17th and 22nd of December while two geocentric alignments are taking place on December 11 and 19. Now we should see a significant increase in solar activity during the month of December based on the heliocentric alignments. We see that Jupiter, Mars, Sun will align on December 1st. Jupiter will then align with Venus and Sun. And towards the end of the month, December 22nd, another heliocentric alignment where Sun, Venus and Mars will be in alignment. Now looking geocentrically, or where the Earth is involved in an alignment, we have the important dates of December 11 and 19. The fast-moving alignment, December 19, shouldn't influence the Earth that much, but the key date, December 11, should see significant earthquakes across the globe, as well as increased volcanism. Mars will oppose Uranus. Now, this is a significant time frame, as the last three occasions, we have seen significant volcanism and an uptick in volcano activity and unrest during this time frame of the alignment between Mars and Uranus. Now look at the important lunar influences that are taking place for the month. We see that December 3 and 4 should see a significant earthquake, perhaps an ocean-based earthquake around the South Pacific Ocean. This is based on the Moon-Neptune opposition and the Moon-Jupiter conjunction taking place a day later. Now looking specifically for Australia and New Zealand, the key time frame of December 18 through 20 could see a strong shaking across New Zealand based on the Moon-Jupiter opposition, followed up by a Moon-Uranus conjunction and Australia and New Zealand could see strong shaking as well towards the end of the month, December 27, where the Moon will be opposing Mercury. We're now going to take a look at the exact overhead or longitudinal position of the Moon at the time of both lunar apogee and perigee. We see that December 5, lunar apogee has a strong signature over North America, specifically the west coast of North America. This could represent a strong shake for San Francisco, Northern California or Southern California. While the important lunar perigee takes place on the 21st of December, with a strong profile over the South Pacific Ocean, New Zealand and also the east coast of Australia. This could represent a strong aftershock for Queensland, as well as a strong shake for the Pacific Islands of Fiji, the Kermatic Islands and also New Zealand. So December 20 and 21 is significant for both the Australian and New Zealand regions. Now look at the important lunar declinations that are taking place on December 12 and 25. We have a very strong Asian profile for December 12, which may represent a strong aftershock for Nepal and surrounding regions while December 25 we have a strong profile for the eastern edge of the Pacific Ocean, which may represent a strong shake for Central America. As mentioned at the start of the video, we have the important Moon-Jupiter conjunction taking place this month, not one time, but two times. Now this is significant as strong earthquakes have coincided with the Moon-Jupiter conjunction, and here is a list of past earthquakes that have occurred within 24 hours of this conjunction. And now the forecast for the New Zealand region will begin on December 9, where there could be a potential 4.8 magnitude earthquake for the top end of New Zealand or just offshore. Areas to watch will be east of the North Island of New Zealand, the Bay of Plenty, or perhaps an event near the White Island Volcano. These are the areas of focus from December 9, and also similarities to December 10. The similarity for December 10 is for the forecast zone, again for the top end of the North Island of New Zealand, specifically isolating just offshore Gisborne, or off the east coast of the North Island, perhaps even the Bay of Plenty, for another earthquake to 4.9 magnitude. Now this could be a series of earthquakes or an earthquake swarm just offshore from December 9 and 10. Now moving forward to the 17th of December, this time the southern periphery of the North Island New Zealand could see strong shaking around Wellington, Masterton, Palmerston North, or perhaps even the Cook Strait, could see an earthquake registered to 5 magnitude. 
definitely a time frame we all need to watch and monitor. That is December 17. Now moving ahead to the 19th of December, and this time an offshore earthquake around the Hawke's Bay region could be possible. Again, a very rare earthquake is expected according to data and analysis. This time registered to 4.6 to 4.9 magnitude, could be likely on December 19. Now moving forward and wrapping up the New Zealand forecast, December 27 could see a strong shape registered to 5 magnitude and this could be the strongest quake for New Zealand for the month. Areas of focus again would be the Cook Strait and Wellington regions, perhaps even as far north as Palmerston North or as far south as Blenheim. In summary, the month of December represents fairly moderate risk for strong earthquakes across New Zealand. The key dates to focus on will be December 9 and 10 for the top end of the North Island New Zealand with areas to watch would be Gisborne, Bay of Plenty or just offshore could see multiple events. December 17, Masterton and Wellington could see a shake to registered to 5 magnitude, while December 19 also represents a strong shake just offshore Gisborne and Hawke's Bay, registered to 4.9 magnitude. And the key day to watch for Wellington and also Cook Strait will be towards the end of the month, December 27, where a strong shake could be registered to 5 magnitude. And now the forecast for the Australian region. Now we're looking at key dates of focus between December 3 and 4, we should see perhaps an aftershock for the offshore Queensland region. And this could be registered over 4 magnitude, definitely a time frame we all need to watch and monitor. Other dates of focus will be December 12 for West Australia. We move to December 14, where we should see a shake also West Australia, perhaps towards the South Australian border. And also December 9 and 17 for Tennant Creek. Now I'm expecting strong shaking around this area, and especially for the month of December, we should see an above average in terms of seismicity for the Australian mainland. Now isolating locations within the Australian mainland. December 12, West Australia could see a shake registered to 4.4 magnitude and represents a potential for the highest earthquake for the month. This could be registered around the Darling Scarp region and areas of seismicity should increase in West Australia. Also on December 14, where the Lake Mackay region could see a shake registered to 4 magnitude. As mentioned, Tennant Creek could see shake in December 9 and 27 and also an aftershock for the Queensland region, or just offshore Queensland, December 3 and 4, could see a shake also registered over 4 magnitude. And here is the website newsletter forecast for the month of December. Now these newsletters are available on the website. Now we'll be making a planetary alignment video for December 10 through 12 covering Argentina and Bolivia, where I'm expecting a strong earthquake, as well as an earthquake for southern Italy from December 17 through 19. There is a video that will be linked in the description box for those interested. High solar activity is expected December 21 through 23. And that concludes this volcano and earthquake forecast video for the month of December covering New Zealand and also the Australian region. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers as well as a website newsletter and the January newsletter should be available next week. Thanks for watching.